Lord Harvey was new to the railway. He had been working extra hard and gotten a few accidents this week. The fat controller was pleased with him. I am pleased with your work, he said to Lord Harry. Now it's time for you to learn the most difficult part of the line. What's that? asked Lord Harry. Well, said Sir Topham Hatt. He paused for several minutes. It's a line that is run by mostly the diesels. It is a very difficult line, so Duke will show you everything. Huh! said Lord Harry. Duke's an old first part. He's a funny daddy. Just like the handle used to say. He's not worth it. I'd rather but to top him hats was gone. Huh, he grumbled. Next morning, the Duke was speaking to him. Now you need to be careful on this line. Rusty usually works on it. But, apparently, Lord Harry wasn't listening. Now, said Duke, I will lead. No, said Lord Harry. I'll lead. How, how am I supposed to see the view if you're blocking my path? Suit yourself, said Duke. But never mind the view. Look at the track. But again, he wasn't listening. Lord Harry came out of the shed, along with Duke. Soon, Lord Harry and Duke were at the station. The coaches were coupled to them. What are you doing? asked the handle. I'm learning the rotten slopes, said Lord Harry. It's not called the rotten slopes, said Duke. It's called the mountain slopes. Whatever said Lord Harry. Can we get going now? The passengers have to get into the coaches, said, said Duke. Don't be impatient, said Lord Harry's driver. But he started off too quickly. Hey, hey, said Duke. Look out, called the handle. It could get very bumpy on the trip. Did you hear what he said? said Duke. What did he say? Anyway, I don't even care what he said, said Lord Harry. Then there was trouble. Lord Harry wasn't paying attention to the track. He was watching the magnificent view. Ah, uh, he said.
What a lovely run. Down the line, Rusty had broken down, and his driver went for help. How am I supposed to be a work diesel if I can't move? said Rusty crossly. Whoa! said. Stop, Duke! Stop! But it was too late. Suddenly, the tanker fell into a cliff. Uh, oh, groaned Lord Harry. Oh, no. Stop shaking, cried Duke. I can't hold you if you shake. Rusty's driver quickly returned. I'll go get help, said Rusty. He began to slip even more. Suddenly there was trouble. A truck came rolling down, smashed right into the soda fuel tank, hit Lord Harry, and it fell into the cliff. I told you to stop striking, said Duke. I can't hold you if you shake. Ooh, groaned Lord Harry. Suddenly there was trouble. Where Lord Harry and Duke were coupled. Oh, cried Lord Harry. Oh. Looks like he's gone, said Duke. The truck was still in the line. Move out the way, truck, said Duke. He pushed it aside. Where did Lord Harry end, you ask? Walk. Whoa! In a pit with old railroad tracks. Oh, said Lord Harry, I'll never be found in this pile of mess. But he got lucky. Next morning, Duke was on his way to collect coaches. Looks like you were saved, old boy, he said. I'll go get the breakdown crane. You better hurry. He said, <laughs> Duke soon returned. I'm not going to let you fall this time, he said. God, Lord Harry was made onto the flatbed, safe and sound.
I'm going to get you out of here, said Duke. And he did. Godred was put onto a side, it was put into a shed. Thank you, said Lord Harry. <sighs> you saved my life, Duke. No problem, said Duke. Then, guess who showed up? Looks like Duncan's back, said Duke. He's not, said the fat controller. He's coming to visit you guys. He's still being repaired. It could take a couple of days or weeks. He was hit bad into a rock. Well, said Duke, I'm glad to visit you. I've been missing this railroad, said Duncan. I'll have to take you away now, said Edward. Duncan was soon out of sight. Well, I'm glad to see that Lord Harry made it back in one piece. Lord Harry was just happy. And he knew what today's events were about.